Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we will talk about Polymyalgia Rheumatica or PMR. Polymyalgia Rheumatica is not a true vasculitis and its pathogenesis is unknown. Polymyalgia Rheumatica and giant cell arthritis share the same demographic characteristics and although separate conditions, the two frequently occur together. Giant cell arthritis is associated with Polymyalgia Rheumatica in 50% of cases. Since many patients with giant cell arthritis have symptoms of polymyalgia rheumatica and on the other hand, many patients with polymyalgia rheumatica go on to develop giant cell arthritis, many rheumatologists consider them to be different manifestations of the same underlying disorder. Coming on to clinical features, this condition is usually seen in people with more than 50 years of age. Its onset is subacute, that is, over two week duration and can present with ache, tenderness and morning stiffness of both shoulders, hips and proximal limb muscles. These symptoms may be present with or without constitutional symptoms like fatigue, fever, weight loss, anorexia and depression. There may be associated mild polyarthritis, tenosynovitis and carpal tunnel syndrome in 10% of cases. Note that weakness and wasting of muscle is not a feature of this disease. Coming on to investigations, C-reactive protein is raised and ESR is typically more than 40 mm at the end of first hour, but it may be normal in some cases. Alkaline phosphatase is raised in 30% of patients. Note that creatinine kinase levels are normal and this point helps in distinguishing this condition from myositis and myopathies. Differential diagnosis that needs to be considered include recent onset rheumatoid arthritis, polymyositis, hypothyroidism, primary muscle disease, occult malignancy or infection, osteoarthritis especially cervical spondylosis and shoulder osteoarthritis, neck lesions and spinal stenosis. Management Corticosteroids are the mainstay of treatment. Prednisolone in a dose of 15 mg per day per oral shall be started. A dramatic response in symptoms occurs within one week. If improvement does not occur, consider an alternative diagnosis. Reduce steroid dose slowly according to symptoms and ESR, for example, by 1 mg per month. Investigate apparent flares during withdrawal, which may be attributable to another condition. Most patients need steroids for more than 2 years, so give gastric protection in the form of PPI and bone protection in the form of biphosphonates, vitamin D, and calcium. Addition of methotrexate may be considered for patients at risk of relapse or prolonged therapy. NSAIDs are not effective in this disease. Inform patients to seek urgent review of symptoms if giant cell arthritis develops. And this is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please share with your colleagues and subscribe to this channel.